the rotation system, they gave you a lot of flexibility in choosing your research interests. Commuting is really good. The campus is pretty flat, so you can bike around anywhere. There were a lot of labs here that were working in my preferred research area, which is brain-machine interfaces. A lot of labs had opportunities to do a lot of interdisciplinary collaboration. It's really close to the water. It's really close to a lot of nice hikes. It's a diverse community. There's lots of good food. It's really close to a big city. There's decent public transport. Figuring out how to balance classes and research and also being a human being. Feeling like I needed to figure out exactly what I wanted to work on and do research on for the rest of my life as soon as possible. You're supposed to study things you, you like and looking around it can seem like everybody knows what their passion is and I personally didn't. Being in control of what you do every day, uh, which can be a blessing and a curse. Going back to classes. Like having to take classes again and like being able to find a better balance in life. You'll be slow. You have to be prepared for like being slowed down, feeling yourself like you have a slow progression compared to the, maybe the other people outside of the academia. I thought a little bit more about what a PhD is. Reaching out to more professors before I got to Stanford and talking to them about their research and what future directions they were interested in pursuing. Taking another gap year. Have a, a good support group. Embrace this uh, slow but meaningful uh, growth in your academic experience. At least comparative to a lot of engineering departments, I think they're good at making their um, the requirements for programs clear. Bank of resources for us to use here, no matter what you want to do. Um, and from programs to seminars down to classes, you can really learn from, from brilliant people and learn the cutting edge of technology. I appreciate the social hours in E and like the GSEE and WE. Allowing you to explore your interests. Helping the incoming students like get to know their class better. The e department is too cheap on TAs. They don't hire a lot of TAs for a class to, compared to other programs. And they don't pay TA as much. Mm -hmm. And it is very, very unmotivating for the, the TAs or, or the faculties to invest themselves into teaching. Being more organized at the administrative level. A lot of the answers to things are just in the EE handbook, which is very well written in some places <laughs> and not others. Community building, I think double E is very disparate. Baking and doing crossers, you're running and hanging out with friends and eating a lot of food. On hikes, I go rock climbing. I like sitting in my hammock when the weather's nice. I go hiking and I like cooking and crocheting and knitting. Working with friends, which sounds kind of boring, but it's far superior to working alone. I play the piano. <laughs> what? What free time? Physical activity, whether that's like volleyball or pickleball, there's some groups on campus that do that. A lot of the happy hours that are like really casual actually really nice because then you get to meet a lot of other people here and it's like, oh, they're just like me. Even if they're like students or professors or faculty and they're all very nice. One-on-one -on -one interactions with people I've met here have made me feel like I belong. Women in EE events. Um, once I started going to like the social events uh, with that club, I started seeing the same people over and over again, uh, and really felt like I had like found community in the department. A lot of the stuff that I've been doing on the weekends, like hiking and camping with friends, um, has been a really nice way to just find kind of my people. There's there's a lot of organized events that it's it's easy to feel like you belong. The classes I've had to take. Um, just because the, the stuff I'm doing now is not really what I thought I would be doing. All the homework, I'm trying yeah. to figure everything out. Yeah. Unspoken pressure that you should be doing something career oriented uh, or related to academics. Being faced with a lot of decisions about what do I really want to do and what do I want to spend the rest of my, my time here working on. Honestly, there's not that much that's bad. I mean, I have to cook meals for myself three times a day. Interacting with grad students, I feel like every time you talk to someone, you get to hear about something new that they're doing that's completely different than something anybody else is doing, and it's something they're really passionate about. People I've met um, and the communities I've been able to build, and all the cool people and all the free food. Schedule flexibility. Here really are 
kind and open to meeting new people and if if you just go just a little bit outside of your shell you're gonna meet someone new and and have a great time